I figured now that I got the bike to the place that I wanted it in terms of mods and I haven't done anything to it in a little while. A little quick overview, give you guys an idea of everything I've done to this thing. So first we'll start with the digital dash. Highly recommend this. Allows you to see your RPMs, your gas mileage. You can calibrate the front wheel speedometer so you actually get an accurate speedometer and it tells you what gear you're in, which is really cool. A lot of more expensive bikes don't even come with that. So that's like a $60 upgrade on Amazon. I'll have a links to everything that I bought. They're all Amazon links. Everything on this bike I purchased at Amazon except for these grips. I bought them at Cycle Gear. But these are the uh Pro Taper Pillow Top Rips. Right here we got the Shinko 705 tires in the front and the back. We also have heavy duty motorcycle tubes inside of those. Spark plug is the NGK Iridium spark plug. I got the Racing Nibby 28 millimeter performance carb. This thing really woke up the bike. Probably the single best performance upgrade that I made. Highly recommend the Nibby carbs and it hooks right up to the manifold to get the flanged version and it hooks right up to the air intake. You can go with a cone if you want, but this makes it really easy. Then I got the JFG Racing Exhaust. Looks really mu nice, matches the bike and it sounds cool. So can't go wrong with that. All right, let's go check Oh, the shock see that white shock right there I also replaced that you need to get spacers because the bottom part isn't as big as the older shock but I'll put a link to the spacers as well and it doesn't cost too much money it was like leave 80 bucks for the shock and another 20 bucks for the spacers and that made a huge difference in the overall ride feel for the sprocket I got a 45 tooth sprocket in the back stock is a 50 I have a 15 or a 17 tooth in the front stock is 15. the cover right here is kind of a bitch to get back on when you put the 17 tooth sprocket in there but you can get it you don't need to modify it a lot of people think you need to modify it but you just just shove that thing in there it'll work also for the racing exhaust you need to buy copper gaskets that go in here the exhaust doesn't come with gaskets your bike should come with a gasket in there already but mine was completely shredded and the bike was brand new i got it with zero miles so i don't know what that was about but you're gonna want to buy some copper gaskets anyway all right let's get a nice little cold start on Grab the pipe, totally cold, there it is. All right, we got one final thing to do. We gotta get this baby warmed up and do a zero to 60 test. See you guys on the bike. All right, we're gonna have the GPS running on the phone. This is my first time doing a zero to 60 test, so I apologize for my terrible launching, but I don't expect it to be too fast on this thing anyway. But this is the official Hawk 250 modded zero to 60 test. Keep in mind, I'm six feet tall, 210 pounds, and this bike has 230 cc's. Pure lawnmower strength. So it should be interesting. Give it one more go on the way to back and we'll call it there right here is a good spot all right last attempt Like the last one was definitely faster but we'll have to see we'll compare those and yeah that's gonna be it for me guys don't forget to subscribe like the video share it to everybody follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram i'm trying to get better about posting on other social medias thank you guys so much for the support peace